Hi guys! Okay, so today's video is going to be a tag video, and today's tag is called I Heart Fall. I have seen this tag going around here a lot on YouTube, so I decided to jump on the bandwagon and film this tag for you guys. And if you guys have filmed this tag, please post it as a video response down below. But if you guys don't film videos, please just copy and paste the questions and put them in the comments down below because I will be um, putting the questions in the description box. So, other than that, let's get right into this tag. Okay, so question number one is favorite fall lip product. And you guys all know me, I can't just choose one favorite fall lip product, so I've chose a few. But I'm going to start off with the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is from Revlon. You guys can find it at any drugstore. And it is the Revlon um, Lip Butter. And it is in the shade 085 Sugar Plum. And I absolutely love these. I have about six or seven of them. I am in love with them. Um, you guys all know me that I really love like pink lips. Um, but during like the fall and winter months, I love wearing just nude lipsticks or like brown based lipsticks with like pink undertones to it. But um, recently I just kind of wanted to branch out and wear like, you know, kind of like the berry color lips. And I have been in love with them. So this is like one of my go-to um, lip products that I have been wearing a lot lately. When I went to um, a festival um, this past weekend, I've been wearing like a lot of like berry lips and I love them. Um, so yeah, anyways, back to this. This is the Revlon Lip Butter and Sugar Plum. And I love these. They're so moisturizing. They have an amazing color selection. And they're really, really pigmented for um, a lip balm. And it just gives you a really nice color to your lips. And it has a really nice shine, so you don't need to wear um, a lip gloss on it. It kind of has that glossy feel already. And they feel amazing on your lips. They're really moisturizing. It's like a really nice berry color. It's so pretty. And you can wear this pretty much on a daily basis. It looks amazing with like a neutral eye or a smoky eye. And I absolutely love this. And then the other one that I've been wearing like a lot, I wore this at the festival that I was mentioning to you guys a few seconds ago. And there's another lip product from Revlon. And this is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And I love these. Um, this is in 005 Crush. And this is like the perfect fall and winter lip color. If you guys don't really like wearing like red lips, this is like the perfect berry color ever. I absolutely love it. And it just looks like this. It just kind of reminds me of like a big old crayon. And it's just a really nice deep berry color. It's so pretty. And again, it's so moisturizing. It has an amazing color selection. Um, really, really pigmented. And um, it smells like peppermint. So it kind of reminds me of like the holiday seasons. And I love, love, love these. They're absolutely amazing. So yeah, that is that again. It's a little bit darker um, than the lip butter, but it's really, really pretty. And it's a great color like to wear like on a night out with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or whatever you're doing. It's really nice berry um, color. So that's that. And then another kind of like berry color is this. This is the um, e.l.f. Conditioning Lip Balm. And it has SPF 15. And it is in the shade Blissful Berry. I absolutely love these. They're $3. You guys can find them on their website, which is eyeslipspace.com. And this is what it looks like. Um, right now I have the um, lip balm that I showed you guys from Revlon, or the lip butter, excuse me. And I actually just applied a little tiny bit on top of this. And it kind of has like a matte finish. Um, but this looks really nice just by itself, or you can just put a, like a lipstick and just put a little bit of this over it. Um, but this is really, really nice. It's really moisturizing, and what's good about this is that it has SPF in it, um, so it protects your, you know, lips from the sun. Even though it is kind of, you know, fall month, you know, it's not really, like, too sunny, but you still need, you know, to protect your lips. And it's really nice, deep kind of berry color. It's a little bit, you know, softer, um, than the, um, balm stain, but it's really nice also. Um, then going on to, I guess, two lipsticks I have. Um, the first one is from Revlon. I guess I love Revlon products. Um, this is in Berry Hot or Ho. I don't know how to pronounce it. But again, it's like a really nice purpley berry color. Um, it's so, so pretty. And my favorite pink lipsticks is Revlon's Prim Rose. So sometimes, if I kind of want to tone it down a little bit, I will use this as a base. And then I'll put um, Revlon's Prim Rose on top. And it just kind of is like a nice purpley pinky color. I absolutely love that. Um, but that's one of my favorite um, lip combinations um, at the moment. But I do like this. And this is it. Again, it's a little bit more purple base. But it is kind of, you know, berry color. Um, but it's really pretty. has a really nice shine to it. I don't really like wearing matte lipsticks. If I do have them, I do have to put a gloss on top of it. But what I like about all these that I'm showing you guys, you don't need to wear a lip gloss. You can just wear it by itself because it has a really nice glossy, shine look to it. Um, then the other lipstick is if I don't really want to, you know, wear like a berry color, um, I'll wear this. This is the NYX Round Lipstick in Power. 
and it's like a purple um kind of like lipstick i don't know how to explain the color but it's so pretty it was like my go-to lipstick for the fall last year and it's totally different than all the other colors i'm showing you guys but this is what it looks like it's so so pretty so moisturizing highly highly pigmented um but yeah this is power it's one of my favorite colors and i can wear this pretty much all year round and the last one is kind of like another um lip balm and this is if i just am going to work and i just want to add a little bit of color to my lips or if i'm going shopping running errands or whatever i turn to this this is maybelline's baby lips in grapevine and it looks like this it looks super dark um in the tube but it's actually very light it just gives you a little bit of color to your lips i don't even know if you guys can see the swatch but it's like a nice purpley color but it's super super light and adds a little shine a little color to your lips so that's that that is all of my favorite fall lip products i know that is a lot i pretty much cheated in that category um the next question is number two and it is favorite fall nail polish and again i cheated um i have three i'll we'll start off with the one that i am wearing on my nails right now and this is zoya's nail polish in stacy yeah and you guys can find these nail polish the nail polish brand at ulta and it's just a really nice kind of like deep purple plum color. It really is a nice like deeper, darker color. Uh, I love like pastels. I don't really like to wear a lot of dark nail polish. But I have been branching out lately. Um, you know, kind of branching away from the pastels and the neons and stuff. Because I still kind of like to rock those in the um, fall and winter times. I don't know why. But those are just kind of like my go-to um, nail polish colors that I like. But you know branching out wearing like the darker colors of the reds and stuff and if i want to go a little bit neutral i like this polish this is china glazes um and ingrid it's like a really nice brown earthy kind of color it has a little bit of shimmer and it. it's a little bit neutral and then the last one is essie's nail polish and this is in forever yummy it's a really nice bright red color this is like my favorite red nail polish ever so i love this i like to wear this during like the um christmas time and stuff so i love that and question number three is a favorite fall Starbucks drink. So, of course, everyone has said it is the pumpkin spice latte. Um, and I absolutely love them. They're absolutely amazing. I've been hooked on the pumpkin spice frappuccino lately. I love it. I probably go there pretty much maybe two or three times a week and i get that it is amazing it is the best one i like that one out of all of them um because i'm not a huge fan of like hot drinks even if it's really cold out i still drink um cold drinks i don't know why um but i really like the pumpkin spice frappuccino it is amazing i don't really care for the iced one um but i do like the hot one but i will have to say it's pumpkin spice frappuccino then the hot one and then the iced one so if you guys have not tried the pumpkin spice frappuccino definitely try it it is amazing so question number four is favorite fall candle. Okay, so again, I have two. I'm a big cheater. So these I have been collecting candles like from Bath and Body Works for since I think last year because they always have like sales, two for 20, all of that. I haven't bought candles lately because I have a lot of them already at my in my room. So my favorite one is um, from Bath and Body Works and it is Frosted Cupcake. I love, love this scent. I know it's not really like a fall scent, but I don't really like leaves or anything like that. I kind of like the more sugary kind of scents. And this smells so, so good. I wish you guys can like smell it, but oh my god. It smells amazing. It smells exactly like cup cupcakes, and I love this scent. And then another one of my favorites is Marshmallow Fireside. And just have a little mini one. <sighs> smells really, really good. So those are my favorite fall candles. Um, question number five is favorite fall scarf or accessory. So I will start off with the scarf. My favorite fall scarf, you guys saw me wearing this in my last video, and it is an infinity scarf. And I got this at Charlotte Ruse, and it's just pretty much a black scarf. And then it has, um, like, cheetah print um, butterflies inside. So I love it because it can pretty much go with anything, and I love scarves in the fall and winter time. So, uh, no, favorite accessory, um, I would have to say it's boots. I love, love, love boots. I love wearing boots. That's what I, like, look forward to when it comes to the fall months. And I have two boots that I'm probably going to wear a lot um, this fall time. You guys seen these in my last video, my haul video. Um, they're both from DSW. This one is just a brown pair. It kind of reminds me of combat boots, but they're like the riding style boots. And they are absolutely amazing. Love this. And then another one, just the black ones. They're a little bit higher and they're more suede and they have the buckles on top. So I would have to say boots. I love um, any kind of like the riding style slash combat boots this fall. So love that. And question number six. Is Haunted House, Haunted Hayride, or Haunted Cormaze? 
Um, I don't think I've ever been on a haunted hayride before, so that is definitely out of the question. But out of haunted house or haunted corn maze, corn maze, excuse me, I would have to say haunted house, I guess. Um, I go to this thing, um, like, I've been going, I think, the past couple years. Um, it's, like, at an amusement park, and it's called Haunt. And I went last year with Robbie, and then this year I don't believe I'm going to go just because, you know, I work and all that. Um, so, yeah, and it's just pretty much, you go on, you know, um, you know, you go to an amusement park and you can go on rides and everything, but when you're, like, walking around, there's, like, people dressed up as, like, vampires, like, pretty much scary things that can scare, um, the heck out of you, and they just kind of scare you and stuff, and then they have, like, mazes, and they're, like, different themes, and, um, so yeah, I guess it's kind of like a corn maze, so I would choose haunted ma haunted ma haunted corn maze, or haunted house, because I really like the haunted, um, corn mazes that they have at haunt and then haunted houses are also really fun also so i love those i pretty much like anything that kind of scare you i love scary movies but i'm not the type of person that like screams or anything i'll jump a um, occasion but i love anything that scares me so i would have to say haunted house or haunted um corn maze so question number seven is favorite halloween movie so you guys all know i'm a uh, uh, kid at heart i love like any movie that's on the disney channel when i was like younger i loved halloween town that is like one of my favorite favorite movie um any of the halloween towns i love those i will still watch them and then i like hocus pocus pretty much any kind of halloween movie that is on the disney channel i love it um question number eight is favorite candy to eat on halloween so i have to say I like caramel apple the lollipops i love those they are absolutely amazing, and they're pretty much like Kit Kats, Reese's, Twix, anything like that. Um, question number nine is, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? I'm not dressing up as anything. I don't really even know what I'm doing. I know during the day I am working, but I don't really have any plans, and I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to dress up as anything. So but let me know what you guys are dressing up as for Halloween in the comments down below. And the last question is, question number 10 is, what's your favorite thing about fall? My favorite thing about fall is just kind of like the weather where I live right now. It's not really that fall of kind of like the weather. Um, last week it was like 90 degrees, which is really weird. Um, and then now it's kind of sunny. It was raining a little bit. But I like just the, you know, the the, um, co the changes of the, ugh, I can't talk. The, um, cha the color change of like the leaves and stuff. I don't know. That's really pretty to me. And just the weather, just kind of like the warmer weather. I love just layering clothes. I love like the clothes you wear. I love boots. I love to, love to wear scarves. I just like love layering and everything. So that is pretty much my favorite thing about fall. I hope you guys enjoy this tag video. Sorry, I could not talk. I haven't filmed videos in a really long time. Just starting to get used to it again because it's been, I think, like a month or so. So I'm really sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, please post it as a response down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.